As shoppers brave the massive crowds for big sales and deep discounts, people all over the internet are sharing some of their horror stories from Black Friday. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Ava Gordy. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more stories. Black Friday has come once again. Infamous for being the busiest shopping day of the year, Black Friday deals can bring out some of the worst in people. Thanks to social media, people are sharing some of the craziest Black Friday incidents they've either witnessed or heard of over the years. Black Friday has a reputation as a free-for-all chaotic nightmare and for good reason. I once saw a much younger woman wrestle a toaster from an old lady's hands at a Kmart. That was my first and last Black Friday experience. The only thing that's happened to me is slipping on a CD case, wiping out flat on the floor on Target, and no one helping me up. Some people actually tried to step over me. Kinda nuts. It's no secret that the crowds can get pretty violent on Black Friday. I saw an elderly woman ram her electric scooter into a guy just to get a TV. I was like 10, out Black Friday shopping with my papa, and as we were passing the electronics section, I saw a man straight knock out a woman over a TV. Black Friday is not just a nightmare for shoppers, but also the police. Around a couple years ago, my parents left me home with my sister as they headed to Walmart. We received a frantic phone call from my mom. They had an accident with another vehicle swerving into their direction. The driver of the other car had stolen two PlayStations and a TV and was building the heck out of the Walmart. We had a lady call the police on our store because we sold out of a TV. I really wish I was lying. They came too. Bringing kids along to Black Friday shopping can be real risky. I saw a kid, probably six or seven, pull his pants down and poop on the floor at Kohl's because his mother was waiting in line at 1 a.m. for really cheap appliances. I work as a cashier at Target. Last year I worked on Thanksgiving night for store opening. I was close to the doors and I saw this woman holding her baby with a killer look on her face. As soon as those doors opened, she licked her lips, tucked her baby like a football into her side, and sprinted to the back of the store. I was 14 and my mom let me go with her for the first time. I had claimed my spot by the video game case three hours before they opened it up, but as soon as it was midnight, a man literally jumped over me and grabbed the game out of my hand. I stood there in shock until a middle-aged woman grabbed the guy by the collar and snatched the game out of his hand while tackling him to the ground. The woman grabbed handcuffs from her pocket and goes, I'm a corrections officer and you're under arrest. She handed me the game and escorted the guy out of Walmart. Shoplifting can spike on Black Friday. Back in my poor college days when I worked at Walmart, we had a fight break out over a bike. Fists were thrown and there was some blood. Eventually, one guy got a hold of it and managed to get away from the crowd. He rode the bike out of the store to flee his pursuers without paying. But not every shoplifter gets away. I was Black Friday shopping at the mall with my mom. As we approach GameStop, we see a young guy, probably still in his teens, just take off running from the store headed to the exit of the mall with the newest Xbox that came out that year. As he's running, there was this cute little older couple that had just entered the mall. They had to be at least in their 90s. The lady had a cane, so she purposely tripped the guy as he was running. He fell face first and the Xbox slid across the floor. Of course, Black Friday isn't horrible for everybody. I work at Petco and we had a store meeting where, I swear to God, my GM was discussing Black Friday and said, and last year we had five to seven people lined up out the door waiting to get in, so we have to be ready. I managed a Radio Shack store in a mall. An old lady came in with her walker for a new battery for her cordless phone, completely oblivious to what day it was. She asked me if the mall was always so busy. So what's our best Black Friday story? Best one though, I witnessed two little old ladies mace each other and ended up in fisticuffs over $2 towels. So guys, what's your craziest Black Friday story? Let us know in the comments below. And for more social media stories, head on over to whatstrending.com.